What's up, guys? Um, I just wanted to show you how you can manage your Node.js web servers um, using a tool called Forever. Forever is great for standing up APIs and keeping them running in the background and restarting them if, uh, if things crash and that sort of thing. And I'll show you guys how you can do that using that tool. So I have my Ubuntu box here. I am SSH'd into it. I have a folder called API. There's nothing in it right now. We're going to have to set up our Node.js web server. We'll install forever, and then I'll just kind of run you guys through what it offers and uh, how to use it. Um, but this box here already has a web server. So if I go to the IP, um, we have an Nginx web server on port 8080 that returns um, this HTML page here. Um, but we will stand up a, ser a server on a different port so that uh, we can work with that um, as, a, as if it was an API server or something like that. So um, I'm going to install Express um, because I do not have it currently installed yet. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I do npm install global express. And Express is just our uh, Node.js uh, server framework. Looks like that worked. Um, so let's create a hello world using Express. So I'm just going to create a file called server.js. Let's paste that in. This one uh, spins up on port 3000. It has a route for forward slash that returns hello world. Let's run that. Cannot find module express. I may have installed it the wrong way. You know what? I don't necessarily want the global flag. Let's throw it in. So there's different node. There's a, there's a directory called node underscore, underscore modules. Um, the way node works is it looks for you have a global node underscore modules but then you also have these uh, local ones for each directory and if you don't specify it'll look for the closest one so let's install express into there well we already did so I think I think if we do yeah I think um, express should be installed now okay it is but um, it looks like something's already listening on port 3000, which is interesting. This is a very common Node.js issue. So we tried to turn on our server on port 3000, but saying it, it's saying that 3000 is in use. So what we can do here is we can go through our processes and see if we see anything on 3000. All right, what else do we have running? We have, okay. So I have, it looks like, looks like rethink DB. So um, our database, RethinkDB, um, has the web admin tool running on port 3000. So let's just, instead of moving that, let's just change uh, the port. Um, let's just change the port on this here. So instead of 3000, let's do uh, 4000. Okay, so we have our server up on port 4000. Let's hit it using the route that we set up, which is just forward slash get request and hello world. It's right there. So that looks that looks good. <clears throat> but the problem is, is this is running in the terminal here, and you know what happens when I log out? Um, 
And the answer is the server stops. So that is what forever is for. Forever manages uh, the servers that run in the background that you stand up. And uh, so let's install forever. So npm install, because if I do forever list, forever is not found. So npm install forever. Because look, the server is not up now. So if I rerun this, there's nothing there. So let's install forever. Okay, let's run forever list again. All right, I think uh, to install forever requires a tiny bit more finesse. Let's see what go. Let's see what is required here. saying past the global flag, but I don't see how that would make a difference. Okay, so I guess you have to install it globally. Um, so I just ran forever list and it says there's nothing running. So what's cool about forever is forever has all this, all these commands. Um, but start, stop um, are, the, are the main commands. So say we wanted to run our Node.js server on port 4000, and we wanted to run it in the background, we would just do forever start server. And now it's up in the background. And it's just going to keep standing up in the background. So that is up for good. And we could do forever list, get some information. So if we do forever list, you can see we have server.js running. It's been up for 12 seconds. It has a process ID. And the runtime command. So a bunch of contextual information. Um, if we want to stop that, we would just do forever stop and now if we do list nothing running and if we run this it fails to respond again so um, this is super useful now there is one thing you could do which is you could throw it the watch flag and what the watch flag is going to do if we do forever start but we throw it it's hyphen W. It's going to start the server, but every time we modify the code on server.js, it's going to restart, which is it's, it's, it's useful for development, but I don't think it's good for production. So I'll just show you guys that. So if we do forever list, we have server.js running up in the background. If we edit server.js, it's been running for 17 seconds. But let's edit it. So instead of hello world, it returns back hello world one, two, three. Let's save that it's forever list. And now it's only been up for 2.7 seconds. And the reason is, is because it's watching. It saw us edit the file and it restarted automatically. And now it's serving back hello world one, two, three. Now that seems useful, right? And it is. The problem is, is we're not just watching the file. We're watching everything in this directory API. So as you can see, it's been up 22 seconds, and it's going to continue to stay up. But if I create a new file called test.js, watch what happens. So I just created a file called test.js. It restarted our server. That's a big problem. It's a problem if we are, if our server is logging something to a subdirectory and you're using a logging module such as Bunyan or Winston, it's going to keep restarting the server every time you write that file. So I don't like using the watch flag. Um, I think you should, maybe it's good for development, but I think um, 
you should uh, start and restart manually because if you start writing if anything in that directory changes uh, we start restarting the server again and again and that creates issues so I would say don't use the watch flag um, but just use forever start and then if you do make edits just manually restart restart but so if we turn on our server forever start server we can actually log out of our box here I'm closing the terminal and we can stay closed out and our server is going to just keep standing up and that's um, so you know if we have an API or something and now if an error gets generated it should it should restart as well so it should take care of all that stuff um, so that's how you can manage your servers uh, using um, forever And if we do, we can see our server is still up. It's been up for 36 seconds. So yeah, that's just a quick little introduction on using forever to manage your node servers.